Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's Infamous here, coming back with another build related video for the ESO Battlegrounds. Uh, if you're looking for Battleground builds or PvP related builds, be sure to check out battleofthebuild.com. It is your number one source for ESO Battlegrounds and PvP related content. Um, if you're looking for patch notes, patch notes will always be here for whatever particular patch that comes out. That'll link you. Um, to here and you can take a look at the patch notes i always post them here if you're having difficulty how choosing how to create a build i go into that here under the what are battlegrounds and then of course how to build for pvp the way you build for pvp is very different than for example how you would build for pve there's a build video here that dis that discusses a lot of the um, markers that i look to hit whenever i'm creating particular builds along with a, a link to the ESO build editor that I use. Um, also, I put a video here if you're having difficulty choosing a class and you're not sure which maybe fits your play style, this video here gives examples of how all the different classes play along with picking the right race for the right class. Every class can basically utilize every single race, but certain races will work better than others. And so I talk about that here in this video here. This build video in particular is talking about the Stamina Nightblade build called Lionheart. Uh, for this particular build, I do recommend going Khajiit uh, for the extra critical healing, of course, that is really necessary in this patch, as well as the critical damage. Um, we'll go into the build a little bit. I'm just talking about the abilities. This is a heavy armor brawler nightblade. I just want to get that out with really good damage. So for uh, in terms of the abilities, we are using Consuming Trap. And of course, I'm just going to briefly talk about the abilities here, and then I'm going to show you what the build looks like on the editor. Our main spammable will be um, Surprise Attack. Our main form of CC is going to be Fear. Of course, we're using Relentless Focus for the 10% damage reduction on the stacks, as well as the burst damage, and of course, the heal on the ability as well. And then Expert Hunter, really no need to pick a morph in my opinion. Um, we're only utilizing it for the major savagery for the critical buff. And then my ult of choice is Soul Tether, and I'll go into a bit why I'm utilizing that. Back bar, we're using Dark Shade. We're using uh, Mirage for the AoE reduction, as well as the additional, um, the minor buffs. So you can see we're pretty pretty high on the resistances. And then we're utilizing um, forward momentums for the um, extra 10% into stamina recovery, as well as the immunity to um, roots and slows. Back bar, we're using Dark Cloak and we're using uh, Mark Target. And then of course for Team Synergy, um, this is Bolstering Darkness. This build in particular is designed for small scale play in no CP as well as Battlegrounds. Primary, most of vast majority of my builds that I, I create are for Battlegrounds. And talking about the actual abilities that we're using, um, just, just go ahead and go over the skills real quick. So actually, let's talk about the item sets first. Well, we'll start from the beginning. Like I said, I do recommend Khajiit, right? We're in Cyrodiil, all points into stamina, running the Thief Mundestone. In terms of the items, I chose um, One Mighty Chudin with Invigorating. My my personal preference, I have no problem playing with lower critical. Um, if you feel that you need more impen, then go more impen. That's entirely up to you. Um, as a long-term player, I can get away with... I'm utilizing a lot less impen in PvP. One Kina for the extra weapon damage. Impen. Um, heavy reinforced chest. If but if you're ever using a heavy chest, always go reinforced. Try glyphs on the large pieces. Everything else should be um, stamina. For this particular build, I am utilizing the hunt set, which is why I chose Dark Shade, right? So the hunt set is going to give you sustain both for your HP as well as for your stamina is very important. So we're going to gain sustain from the hunt as well as damage because it gives two line of stamina as well as the weapon damage on top of giving you um, HP and stamina every time your shade hits. Shade hits every two seconds, so it's going to proc every single time. It's going to proc on cooldown. The other ability, the other set that I'm using is the Elysian's set. It gives you the physical and spell resistance HP and increases your health recovery. As you can see right here, especially with this meta where the damage over time is really high, you're going to want to want you're going to want a lot of healing, and you're going to need multiple sources of healing, not just one, um, because particularly especially with a frontline stamina build, you're going to want to have a lot of heal over times, and it can't just be from one skill. For example, like vigor. As you can see, I am not utilizing vigor. 
Um, with that said, um, where a lot of the sources of healing are going to come from is going to be one from consuming soul trap, which is our first ability. Um, when a person dies, we gain back 5k HP as well as 2250 magicka and 5500 stamina. So this is another way that we're going to get a lot of sustain on this particular build for everything. Uh, it's basically like having like a mini tripod as well as the damage. As you can see, it does 17,000 damage over 10 seconds. This is not an ability to spam. I designed this particular build a certain way, and I'm going to discuss why I did that, because we really don't have a lot of magic of recovery. Um, we have a fairly decent magic of pool. You can see our HP and our stamina, as well as our um, weapon damage. Spell critical with your, with your um, weapon critical... Uh, damage as well as your critical healing and you can see the resistances right here with 29k um, physical and spell resistance along with um, an extra eight percent mitigation from dark cloak which is why i went this war um, as you can see surprise attack is going to be your spammable as well as giving you um, an additional five percent reduction to physical resistance when you hit somebody from behind um, which is why one of the reasons i decided to go with one mace and a dagger um, the back bar is an infused axe and that's particularly for the bleed so when you go to your back bar when you're basically rebuffing try to squeeze in a light attack um, in between your buffs if you're on top of somebody um, but that's basically what every five seconds you're going to go back to your back bar and that's basically to maximize the amount of damage that you do the mace is there for the penetration because we have access um, to a fairly good range dot so the extra penetration of course is welcome as well as um, I chose different different abilities for this because this is going to be a brawler for the most part you're not relying on invis cloak you're relying on dark cloak and that's primarily for the healing over time you can see the ability right there it gives you um, seven, uh, 1500 every second for the next eight seconds as well as proccing your armor buff as well as proccing the um, minor protection fear is going to be your main source of ccing people um, i put in enough regen because i have one two three four four magic abilities and reaper's mark is free so that will give you the reduction to physical and spell resistance as well as you can see there when a marked target enemy when a marked target dies it heals you for sixteen thousand um health as well as giving you major berserk that's why we're utilizing this ability on the back bar this is how we get our major fracture and breach um, as well as giving us more sources of healing so we have one source of healing here two sources of healing here three sources of healing here four sources of healing here as well as a fifth source of healing via relentless as well as a sixth form of healing via soul tether as well as a seventh form of receiving heals via h recovery as well as a pot so we have eight different ways um, that we're able to gain back hp in terms of sustain we're running heavy armor so you're going to gain back magic and stamina every time you take damage via the constitution passive um, as well as heavy attacks with dual wield you're going to gain an additional 25 percent when you do wield heavy attack in terms of your stamina recovery so that's another way that you're going to get recovery um, and of course recovery via um the hunt set is going to give you recovery and then of course um there's another source of recovery via of course um excuse me consuming trap right as well as a pot right so we have one source of recovery heavy taxes recovery and recovery via just taking damage via heavy armor um like i said before expert hunter is primarily there um just for the major savagery savagery buff it gives you an additional three percent to weapon damage because of passives from um from fighters guild as well as giving you something to utilize if you're fighting a cloaking night blade or a cloaking mag blade um it's you literally have to be on top of uh the person to pull them out and it only gives you three seconds I particularly don't use it unless you're going to secure a kill shade is there for the damage reduction it provides you also with an extra hp on the back bar as well as proccing the hunt set uh, we're utilizing mirage mirage is there for major evasion which is going to reduce all of the aoe damage that you take as well as giving you an additional two percent mitigation to physical and spell resistance uh, like i said before forward momentum gives you minor endurance as well as giving you immunity to snares as well as giving you the major brutality buff 
like I said before, Dark Cloak is going to be your source of healing. Um, also, for example, if you're getting attacked from range and you need to find some LOS, it's the way that you're going to be able to proc um, your major um, resistance here uh, or through Shade or through Mass Hysteria. Um, of course, Bolstering Darkness. Any of these abilities here will proc the Shadow Barrier, which gives you 14 seconds um, of the major resolve and major ward. Which is going to be so you have both major and minor buff as well as um, the uh, minor protection and then of course reaper's mark like i said before on the back bar talking about the ultimates because this is a more of a brawler build because you're more of a front line either in, as a small scale group or in a battleground you're going to be soaking up a lot more damage more than likely you're going to have more uh, people around you especially melee builds so this is that's why i chose soul tether so tether will stun everybody so you have a form of, of two forms of aoe cc so you don't have to waste magicka again you have one two three four different magicka abilities and in terms of your overall sustain you're like you're literally really close like you really can't spam um your abilities you can't sit there and spam dark cloak you know again when you have when you still have two more seconds of dark cloak you really want to pay attention to your magic which is why i went with this over for example utilizing um the dual wield bleed as you can see the dual wield bleed does less damage it does give you an extra source of healing but in terms of your sustain i felt this was a better option plus it gives you something that you can cast from range but of course like i said before it's a magic ability and we're not really utilizing a huge pool and we don't have the best region um 850 region pr plus the additional region that you're going to get from heavy armor Right, your constitution is going to proc only 451 um, plus i decided on the glyphs to go with the magic restore um, I, I really was trying to eke out as much magic of sustain as i could so that you can utilize your dark shade um your fears your you know cloaking for healing and basically and making sure you keep up your mirage buff which is why i chose to go this way um, shock of course always on the front bar so that you can proc uh, minor vulnerability and like i said the weapon glyph is going to be on the back bar um, so this is why i chose so tether it also is another form of healing it does aoe cc it does it has a decent tooltip of almost 11k and then of course um it also gives you the um what's it called from from siphoning that's how we're getting the siphoning um f magic of flood for the additional eight percent so that's is that's another reason why i chose this ability um, because we don't have access to it on the back bar and i wanted it at least accessible uh, on one of the bars um, you could try to squeeze in for example siphoning um, i'm not sure exactly where you would but of course that's user preference um, if you weren't going to utilize the hunt set then sure you could drop shade for something else you could actually put this on the back bar and then run um blood craze if you weren't going to use the hunt set I like the hunt set because it'll give you the damage reduction, HP sustain, and magic of sustain. Um, so that's kind of why I went this route. I chose bolstering darkness on the back bar. If your team is getting pressured, it gives um, it gives snare uh, it snares everybody by seventy percent who's caught in it. Really good utilizing it in choke points, as well as granting you and your team major protection for the whole for the duration of this ability. It gives you eighteen seconds. Eighteen seconds. Um, of major protection also your allies can use the synergy called hidden refresh that grants them invisibility makes your whole team invisible as well as increasing their movement speed by 70 percent and of course the synergy heals them as you can see there for twenty-eight thousand over four seconds as well as of course um, increasing your hp on the back bar this is basically why i went this way um, for this particular build um, if you have any questions feel free to check me out on twitch um, at infamous nyc right here and of course if you're looking for more pvp related content if you're looking for builds be sure to check out battleofthebuild.com if you like the content feel free to like comment and subscribe i always appreciate um people who uh you know support the channel appreciate it very much of course the more people who who, uh, who like the video it'll be recommended to more people um, feel free to check me out anytime hit me up in the in the comment section if you have any questions in regarding to any particular bill i try to answer everybody um, as quickly as possible thanks for um, stopping by take care have a great night